Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this LG Smart French Door Refrigerator. So I consider this refrigerator very quiet. I did a lot of research and I was wanting a quiet refrigerator. Now this one didn't show up, but I went ahead and got it and I'm very happy that I did. So there's two reasons I got it. Quiet and it's got two ice makers. Okay, so we got the traditional ice maker and water dispenser up here. A little lever you're going to push. The water comes out really good. If I want cubed ice, I'm going to press the cube button. And if I want crushed iced, press that. Now, normally I would be kind of like holding it up a little like that. It only operates when you're pressing the lever in. There's no button to press to make it go all the time. So there's where the ice and the water both come out. Okay, so let's take a look. There is an ice maker in the door. So the ice maker in the door is right here. Now you're simply gonna unlock this, open this up. There's the ice maker. You can turn it on and off with a switch. There's it making ice. It's really quiet. Now, sometimes you hear the ice when it dumps over and puts it into the tray. That might be loud. But other than that, I don't hear it that much. Now, I really like that it has an ice maker down here also. And here's the kind of ice it makes. It makes a lot of ice. So the ice maker is a little hidden. It also has an on-off switch on it too that you can turn that ice maker off. Now, this was the loudest part. When you don't have ice in here and when it's making ice, you will we'll hear it drop in there. It is kind of noisy. But other than that, this has been a very um, quiet refrigerator. Putting it together was very simple. The handles came uh, in a separate box. Well, it, they did not come attached, and you just got to use a little Allen screw that comes with it. You're going to attach this handle. Now, this handle is supposed to move. That's what unlatches it. Two big, you got these two big sides. I can move this around, make that go either way. Let's look inside. I've got a fresh air filter. Here's my water filter for the ice maker. Very easy to change. Again, there's the model number, serial number. Got this nice big crisper here. Shelves are adjustable. Okay, so be careful. They, they come taped together. I didn't realize that. Um, but there is a piece of tape on these shelves. So you can adjust each shelf individually. You might have heard there is a little dinger that's letting me know that it's time to shut the door. And so there was a lot of tape when I took this out. Now you're going to want to make sure there's, on these shelves, there is tape back here on these little hooks. So make sure and take that tape off. Then there's this tape here. So we got to do that for all the shelves. Okay, so these drawers on the side, these just lift straight up. I could take those out. Up here on this right hinge, I'm not sure what that is. So it is nice. This door does have a seal. Now the control panel, this shows me the freezer temperature and that's the ice box temperature. Now it does have this ice plus. If I press this button, it'll make ice quicker, but it will turn itself off after I think 24 hours. It goes back to nor just making normal ice. I do have a fresh air filter, power, which is going to force more air through the filter, but then that will reset itself back to normal after 24 hours. So here's what the back of the refrigerator looks like. You're going to hook the ice maker up. There's a water line right here. This is where you're going to hook the water up right there. All of these lines were already hooked up. Everything was hooked up. And then there's the uh, plug in for it. Again, it's just super quiet. So this one is designed to kind of stick past your cabinets a little bit so that you can open the doors. It's not meant to be flush with your cabinets. So it is smart grid. So if you're connected to a smart grid, um, the power company could cycle this on and off remotely. And it does have Wi-Fi. Now, some things I've noticed, this does not have a drip tray, for say. Normally, they have like a drip tray that you can take out and clean. This is just, just like that. But overall, I'm, I'm very happy with the looks of it. Um, it came wasn't damaged, very easy to put together. All I had to do was put the handles on. It came with the Allen wrench 
and the Allen screws. Again, very simple to put together. There was a lot of tape uh, kind of inside and everywhere, but yeah, I'm very happy with this. Now there's no closeout at the bottom. You can kind of see the wheels a little bit, and then there's the leveling. It was very easy to level. And so I got this at Lowe's for $1,700. So again, quiet refrigerator. I'm very happy with it. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.